video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and it is week three of my Spring Blooms CSA. So a CSA is basically a weekly flower club. So every week I like to show you guys what I'm putting in my CSA bouquets and here are my ingredients. But before I do any of that, I must show you these. These are ice cream tulips, and I know so many people say, oh, there's no way that they really look like that. They really look like they do in the catalog, guys. These are absolutely beautiful. So I harvest them when they have a fluffy white top, and then they go like that, and then like this, and then finally, well, this not finally, this is the next step, and then they basically open up like a peony. Look at that. They don't really smell, but their beauty more than makes up for the lack of scent. Anyway, I wanna show you guys the ice cream tulips. I might keep them for myself, <laughs> undecided. Okay, I grew them last year, but this year I grew them in a greater number. I do have a bunch of requests for dance recital bouquets this weekend. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Anyway, so on to today's CSA bouquet. It is featuring my favorite daffodil. This is Sir Winston Churchill, most of them. There are some yellow cheerfulness in here. This is a yellow cheerfulness. I um, also love that as well. <laughs> so these are David, these are Sir Winston Churchill. It is a multi, multi flowering, beautiful, beautiful tops. And oh my gosh, guys, the scent is pure intoxication. It's too much for some people. They just can't handle it. Okay, so we have those and we also are mixing them in with the absolutely amazing double specialty tulips. And we have, in the left corner, weighing in at 14 ounces, we have Icoon. Icoon is uh, pretty awesome. It is a gorgeous double flowering, deep, deep orange. This is on my list for next year. I think I ordered like five times as much. <laughs> I only ordered a hundred of them this year and they're beautiful and I cannot wait to grow them again. They're stunning. There is one blue wow in here. Let me post this picture of blue wow. I mean, come on, it's gorgeous. And then we have a couple of other ones. Guys, I um, was wrong in one of my videos last week. I had labeled my fields wrong and I thought the yellow was Uncle Tom. That was not Uncle Tom. This is Uncle Tom. It is the double red and a couple of people I think in the comments said, I don't think that's Uncle Tom. You were right. I labeled my fields wrong. I had them flip flopped. So this is Uncle Tom, this double red. I mean, it's, it's like a rose, come on now. And then we have brownie, guys. Look at this, co these colors together. They are making my day. This is brownie. It's like a, a, it's brown, orange, red, gold, yellow. It's all of the colors swirled together like someone took paint and just went swirl, swirl and came up with this. And for some reason, it's not ugly, it's gorgeous. Okay, and then over here we have charming beauty. It has like a, a coral apricot undertone with this beautiful off-white um, and that's what we have in the bouquets today. This color combination just makes me so happy. So I'm going to give everyone's going to get a little bit of everything today. Hopefully. I have more brownie in the field. I might have to go pull some more because I'm making 12 bouquets today and uh, I need 12 brownies otherwise somebody's going to be disappointed. Honestly, I think if I were to redo my wedding, I would have like this color combo. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I want everything. So this shouldn't be too long. All I have to do is throw everything together. Let's get moving. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take two icons. I'm gonna take two Uncle Toms, one, maybe two. Nope, not that one. That one's got a little bit of a bend. No! Tom down! I got him. He's okay. And then I am gonna load it up with you know who. So this is when I like to harvest Sir Winston Churchill when one of them is open. I even will harvest them when they're closed as well. Uh, but I like people to uh, be able to smell it when they walk into a room. He really is just absolutely so fragrant, so fragrant. So I'm gonna load these up and get it done. 
Oh, it's just a classic combination of spring blooms and that's exactly what this CSA is. Yeah, that's gonna be gorgeous. And the brownie. There's the brownie. Okay, cool. So I'm using my bouquet cutter over here. I'll maybe move the camera a little bit. So I'm just using the bouquet cutter over here. I'm not cutting the daffodils. They're on the shorter side, so I'm just gonna trim the tulips up to the edge of the daffodils. That way the sap that oozes out of the daffodil doesn't harm the tulips. So here is a gorgeous, gorgeous, and it smells so good, I'm so excited. Uh, so basically they'll all look very similar to this and I will deliver them to the pickup location in just about an hour I have to leave. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank these out. I just grabbed some more of the brownies and I also grabbed these beautiful red king's blood that were just opening up. They'll be beautiful in the vase for a couple of days and then the rest of the stuff will be like the main star for the rest of the time. But I figured why not like just let them take them, right? I just went in the cooler for the reserves, the extra daffodils. Whoop, that was quick. Okay, so here they are. I have four buckets to bring to my members for pickup. I think they came out glorious. Uh, some of the daffodils are fully open. Some haven't even started to open yet. And most of the tulips are pretty closed, at least halfway closed. So hopefully they won't open up in the car on the way there. It's actually a very cool day. It's only about 52 degrees here. So eh, the sun is shining, but it should make for a nicer ride in the car. When it's 80 degrees out and you're trying to deliver tulips, they just burst open in the heat of the car. So hopefully these guys will make it to the pickup location, okay? And thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon. And now more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in your creativity. We are about to dive headfirst into bouquet building season. And this video, with Allison from Bloom Culture was exactly what I needed to kind of make sure I know what I'm doing when it comes to building hand-tied bouquets, especially bridal bouquets. I have a couple of requests for them this year and I'm not at that confidence level where I can take on these yet. So I want to just increase my skills and I know last year I purchased a set of Holly Chapel eggs and they are so handy to use when it comes to building your bouquets and this video is helping me to just get better at that. Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and new classes are always being added. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. I did go through all the tulips that I took out, but I am gonna put these daffodils like this. I didn't even touch this bucket. Mm, I am gonna bring these and then the one on the table back into the cooler, so. Yay, more daffodils. I have a ton of orders for this weekend, plus I have my other CSA, the other half of my CSA for Saturday, so. Oh, the brownie head fell off. It was kind of growing and attached down. Shoot. You good? Hi guys. Okay, let me lift up my neck here a little bit. Okay. Loud log trucks are going by. Go ahead, go for it.